This is amazing. I mean, it has been an amazing day, and then to stand here now tonight, speaking after this great group of people, I feel uh, honored, but also really happy. I'm happy because what we have today is a fantastic manifest. It's a visionary manifest that some people call utopian, but I call myself a pragmatic utopian, so I don't really care. Some of this I experienced today, I can actually recognize, because two and a half years ago in Denmark, we were a group of people who presented a manifest. It was a political dream of a new political platform. We had a clear political direction, and we had some answers we wanted uh, to address. Especially, we wanted to address three central crises that we felt in Denmark, but that we also feel in Europe and globally. First of all, it's the empathy crisis. And it's the empathy crisis we see today where we do not help the people who come to Europe and ask for our protection. It's also the empathy crisis we see when European countries are closing its border and leaving it for other countries to solve the problems. The second, the second crisis that we need to address and that we put forward was, of course, the climate crisis. Because without addressing this, none of this actually has any uh, need to be addressed. We need to address the climate crisis every day, every minute, and all over the world. The last crisis we wanted to address was actually the crisis of the system. As we see it today with our new problems, we don't believe that the way we have organized it can also be the solution for the future. It's not the private sector that will come to our rescue, but we don't believe that it's the public sector who can do it all, or it's a civil society. We need to form new forms of sectors, a fourth sector and a new way of organizing to address the problems we are facing. And that is not Danish problems, it's global problems. But like today, two and a half year ago, we presented a manifest and we presented an invitation, an invitation for people to come forward and help us write a political program. And that is not easy to do in Denmark. We have a big decline, a, a dramatic decline in members of political parties in Denmark. But 700 people came forward. 700 people came forward in four months and actually co-created what I would call a fantastic political program. And today, two and a half years later, we have nine seats in parliament. We still have a long way to go to actually change politics in Denmark, but we have a voice. Today, we stand here and I'm happy because one thing is that we want to change society in Denmark. But imagine if we come together and we create actual change all over Europe. Because we need Europe to address the challenges we are facing. In order to make these changes, we need a new political culture, a culture which thinks bottom up, where everybody can participate. Because the European Union is in serious problem. And rather than seeing European cooperation as a threat to our welfare system or national identity, we should actually create a new solution which can make us better, much better, and that together. Cooperation is not a threat to our distinct national communities. At this stage, it's actually the lack of collaborate, collaboration to address shared challenges that is the real threat. But, of course, we need it to be easy for everybody to participate in these changes. The European... Sorry, mixing up my papers. <laughs> Thank you. But it's not the same way we have created the problems and we can solve them. If we want to address problems, we need to find new answers and new tools. 
This is why that we need transparency in the European Union. This is why we need to build the future of the European Union on a participatory democracy where everybody in Europe can participate in making the changes. And I believe that we can make a change here today because all it takes is actually for people to come together. Come together and wanting change, that is what we need for it to start. We might be utopian, but pragmatic utopian, and we are together here tonight, so thank you.